Hi friends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 50 in Gandhi Grash Saga's special event, Saltnado. And 50 is a multiple of 5, therefore we should get a little prize from doing this. We've got 18 moves to clear out 68 jelly and collect 4 ingredients. 1, 2, 3, 4, and they are wrapped up in these sugar chests, so we need to collect sugar keys, but they're it's prohibitive because we've got candy cane fences and um, waffles. So we've got a lot of work to do in here. We've also got a portal system and a conveyor belt system we're going to have to learn as we go. Taking out the waffles, I think, is the biggest, baddest, bestest strategy in the beginning. I could do this and it takes out two layers. I'm going to do this. It takes out these two layers plus hits over here, plus look at this, we get that cascading effect because we get a um, a bounce from the clearing things out. That's what we want to see happen all the time. It doesn't always happen though. Let's do a bit of this, bring things downward at least, get them out of the way so that we can finally get some keys here to collect. Yikes. Well, we'll get that one out of the way. Oh, look at this, I love this. Reaches in and grabs things. There, so now we've got a key. So let's reach in and grab more stuff. These waffles are movable barriers, and so we have to try to take advantage of that and get them out of our way. And even though I want to focus on the lower portions, I can't forget to look up every so often and see what might be helpful. All right, so now I've got keys coming in and uh, I still have a lot of jelly to take out because I still have waffles blocking the way. So since I don't have any waffle dispensers, I can do this. Now I do have ticking time bomb dispensers, but I've got so few moves left, they are not a problem for me. By the time I got those open, I was already pretty much um, out of danger. All right, so collecting keys and making, there we go, look at this, this is what we need. So we're gonna grab that last key and open things up. So now I've got this side of the board open fairly well. Oh, that slid down, I would have loved to have seen that in action. Come on, there we go, not much time left to get everything done. So this is a very unlikely situation because I have to hit some of these multiple times. I still have those waffles in the way. But much closer now than we were just a few moves ago. Once we get things open, uh, everything becomes much easier. So my goal is going to be to do battle against the um, ticking time bombs. And the reason I say that is I didn't open things up early enough to have to deal with those, but that also meant that I didn't clear out things quickly enough. So I'm gonna to have to clear things out more quickly. Be right back with a new board. Okay, I've tried a few more times and what I've learned is that it's a very fickle board. It could go uh, real quickly into bad areas. And I think I'm playing well and still I get caught up in this. So here's what I'm going to do. Because it requires not only skill but also luck, I am going to, if I don't win this time, uh, pause the recording and then come back without sound and just wait for the luck to catch up with my amazing playing. <laughs> But while I'm here, I do want to share some more important information. First of all, I've been talking about getting to the waffles, and that's important because when we clear those out, we've got a better chance to get to everything else. However, sometimes the waffles aren't covering the jelly, and in that case, we don't actually have to take them out. Yes, it's easier if the waffles are gone, but it's not essential. So, let's see, I don't know the best move here. Let's do this and go for a bit of cascading. Oh, I want a purple there. So reaching into the edges where we see jelly is important, but then uh, mostly just 
uh, focusing on the jelly underneath instead of the actual waffles themselves is going to be crucial for our goals here. But it's so hard. The waffles cover so much of everything. And you can see this one isn't going nearly as well as the last run. All right, let's see. Finally, we get a color bomb. I don't have much orange on the board, but it's better than anything else I have. I still have these guys to take out, but it doesn't matter too much to me because I still have so much jelly to remove. So taking those out wouldn't really advance me too much further. Still, we're getting in that range, so I know that I've got the right technique, the right strategy. I just, you know, sometimes I want to make a move that isn't available. I want to move down here and everything is blocked in. So pay attention to the fact that you want to get rid of those uh, waffles that are covering up areas you need to be. But then once you do something like clear out all of the jelly in the center stripe, don't focus on the center stripe anymore. Pay attention to where the jelly is and I think that'll help. So I'll come back without sound and hopefully with a win very soon. So obviously we've got it now, but this took me 34 tries to get it done. This one was a rough one. No way that I think that this is a normal level. I did, however, kind of breeze through a lot of them, and this time I decided to focus on going for where there was jelly. Notice I didn't take the combo right away, and that could be dangerous because you risk it. But I just wanted to set it up where there was just more orange up here. I don't even know if I was successful at that. But thankfully, a color bomb wrapped candy combo does a great deal on this board. So if you do get the opportunity, don't wait around like I did. Play smarter. Use it. And then play cleanup at the end. If this was helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. There is the surprise that I got for beating this level, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.